Deep agents are a form of agents that plan, reason, and act over longer time horizons. We built a dedicated UI for viewing and interacting with these agents that show its plan, the status of the file system that it uses, and any sub-agents it kicks off. My name is Nick, I'm an engineer at Langchain, and today you'll learn how to set up this UI. Now as a quick refresher, we can think of deep agents as a variant of the generic React tool calling architecture. Under the hood, deep agents still follow the same iterative tool calling structure, but there are four characteristics that differentiate deep agents. Deep agents have a tool to use for planning out their work. They can also delegate larger, more complex tasks to separate sub-agents. They can write to and store information in a file system, and they often have very long and detailed system prompts. Our CEO Harrison put together a few great videos about deep agents, and so if this is a new term to you, I'd highly recommend checking those out first. Let's go ahead and set up a deep agent. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clone our deep agents repository locally. In this repo, we already have an example researcher deep agent. We'll navigate to that specific example and install the necessary dependencies. Make sure that you've also specified an Anthropic API key in your environment, as the agent needs that to run. You also need to make sure to set your Tavili API key in order for internet search to work. Once that's done, we can run our researcher deep agent locally by starting Langgraph dev. Now let's hook this up to our UI. We'll start by cloning the repo for our open source deep agents UI. Let's go ahead and do that. And now once we have our repo, we can install all the necessary front end dependencies. Now there are a few variables here that we need to configure. First, I need to set my next public deployment URL as the URL for my locally running agent server. This is gonna be the same for you if you're running your agent locally. Then I need to set my next public agent ID, which is just the name of the agent that's specified in our langgraph.json file. In this case, from the sample, it's just research. Let's start the app and we'll navigate to localhost 3000 to see how it looks. This should look pretty familiar. It's similar to most chat interfaces, but we do have this workspace pane on the left-hand side. This pane is directly hooked up to the to-do list and the file system of our deep agent. Let's test out our researcher. Cool. We can see that the first thing that the deep agent does is it writes the user's question to its file system so that it can refer back to it later. Then it immediately comes up with a list of to-dos which populates this left-hand pane here. The first task is to conduct research into LeBron's career. This isn't a trivial task, and so our researcher decides to spawn a sub-agent to handle this. By clicking into the subtask, we can see the exact input that our sub-agent received, and eventually we'll be able to see the output too. Research isn't quick, so I'm gonna let it skip ahead and work for a while. Cool. We can see that a few of our research sub-agents have responded here and that we've taken more actions in general. Our to-do list has also updated. We can see that we've also kicked off a different type of sub-agent, a critique agent. This is in the process of critiquing the final report which the agent has written to the file system for me. The benefit of the file system is that these files can later be perused and have specific lines edited by the agent. For example, if the critique agent decides that something needs to change. That's it. To recap, all you need to do to set up this custom deep agents UI is to fork our open source repo and set a few environment variables pointing to your agent server. I'd love to hear in the comments if this was helpful or if there are any other features that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.